Good afternoon, Blue Beamers. My name is Troy DeGroat with U Chapter 2, and I'm excited to partner with the team at Brighton Graphics to deliver world class Blue Beam training and customization services, empowering you to get the most out of your Blue Beam investment. So, some more advanced things that I did to show you here as well is I started building custom columns. So, uh, well, let me show the show you the markups I did first. Um, I showed you all of the different floor types, but then this here, this blue dash line is my cat six cable for my TVs. So I've got a screen in each meeting room and that cable is going to run through a cable tray over to my server room. And that's what all of these different runs are. And then it's giving me all of those totals down here per run and then total. And what I've done here is on different cable trays, I've put in different distances for the hanger spacing. So um, I've got every, I had this set to feet originally. I, so this is every 10, every six and a half, so on and so forth. And then I built, so you enter in that one manually. And then this next one, the total hanger count is going to take the length divided by the spacing plus one for the starter hanger and give us the number of hangers that we need for that run and so on. It's going to go through all these and tell us how many hangers. And then we have a total up here for how many hangers we need. Next example is our retaining wall. So I've got a wall here. If I click on it, it brings us there. I've got another one on this new example. But here you can see I built out a choice where for the bl uh, block size, I can put in 8 inch or 12 inch. And what that's doing is it's taking the surface area of this wall which I set up to be, now this is obviously the length of the wall, but I set up the average height to be three feet. So it might be four feet in the corner and it goes down to zero, but it's three feet average on that whole area. And then it will give me the surface area of the face of that wall. And then I put in uh, values for each block, depending on the size. And this will tell me how many blocks I need. So I set this all up in Imperial, so it's not giving me accurate um, numbers now, but um, you get the idea. You can build in these choices with values and then build those into formulas to give you uh, different quantities. I like to build out my estimating tools to actually get to the, the the way that I purchase those materials. So if, if these blocks come in a pallet of 100 blocks, then I want to figure out how many pallets I need. Oh, that's more important to me in rounding up to that next pallet full instead of just uh, the number of blocks. So I think about that and build my, you know, reverse engineer my tools to get me there. And then also in our advanced class, I show you how to make in these custom columns. Uh, in this case, uh, we've done our estimate and I created a custom column uh, called material ordered. So once I order this material, I can go and check these off, indicating that I've ordered those. And then I can filter my list and tell it to show me only the ones that haven't been ordered so that I know where I'm at. And once I order these, my list is going to get shorter and shorter. And you'll notice when they're filtered out that they're grayed out up here. They don't show up in full color anymore. I'm going to go and keep 
Every time I order those, I'm going to check this off and my list is getting shorter and shorter as I go. The next thing I might do when I set this up and I order, um, let's say I order carpet one, I order all those together. I might come over here and put in estimated delivery date. So this is going to be here on the third and so on and so forth. That way I can start to track what's going to show up when out of all of my materials. Uh, if you have any questions regarding training, or customization services for your company, don't hesitate to reach out to the team at Brighter Graphics or myself, and we'd be happy to help you out with that.